Uh, Dylan just discovered that there was something leaning kind of outside the classroom, uh, 19B, alongside the wall, with all these other posters around. But this some one w strange poster on the wall just didn't fit in. Like, it didn't look right. And you went to inspect it, and it was like a cardboard cutout of what well, looks to be a teenage boy. And... Okay. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then you kind of called Arthur over, and I think that's where you guys were determining whether you wanted to, like, communicate into somebody or, or try to do something yeah. from there. So I'm going to let you guys take it. All right. Okay, Alpha, do you read me? Uh, yes. Yes, Arthur. What do you need? Data response? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> nothing seems out of the ordinary. Just uh, two things, though. Uh, we have a problem with a sandwich, and that has been just left up behind. And also, we've got seem to find some sort of cardboard cutout. Other than that, I'm not entirely sure what exactly we're looking for here. Aye, aye, aye. Why would anyone leave a sandwich unintended? I know. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know where exactly the energy reading's coming from, though. Could you lower it down for us, Alpha? Uh, absolutely. Let me see what I can do from the command center. I'm something. gonna <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> just like grab the cardboard cutout and like look at the back and like what what is this? Oh, okay. Uh yeah. Go ahead and well, I wanna tell you when you grab this cardboard cutout, it's a lot heavier than you feel like it should be. Like Where? you you would feel like if this was made out of cardboard, it would be a lot lighter. But when you pick it, 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 it just feels like <laughs> it feels like more like it's maybe like cut out of wood or something like that, like the weight, but it looks like cardboard. So it's it's really strange when you start to like pick it up and look around with it. Uh, I would have to make you have it make a check for me. Um, let me see. Um, OK, uh, do me a favor, make a. It says insight skill test, but I think that would be under alertness. I think that insight is a specialization under alertness, I believe. So go ahead and make an alertness test for me. And the difficulty on this is going to be a 13. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done. Hey! <laughs> We're the 15 as a success. All right, so you're looking at this thing. First of all, it's heavy, and that's weird. Uh, it doesn't, and you're feeling it. It feels smooth. It's, I don't know, it's just weird, strange. And then you look around and you look at the face of this boy on this cutout, and the it look reveals surprise and maybe like a strong touch of fear in the face of this boy on this cutout like you have to really be like looking at it to see it because it's very subtle yeah but it definitely looks like surprise and a touch of fear and f this is unnervingly realistic looking like whoever printed this out like this is top notch quality print so 
So, uh, huh. Dylan, uh, <laughs> what you got there again? I don't think it's actually made out of cardboard, and also... He seems afraid. Afraid? Yeah. Also, uh, it's very heavy. Feel. Oh, come on, how can it be that? Whoa, okay, that's not right. <laughs> um yeah, yeah uh yeah it's not like it's not like it's not like heavy that it's going to like weigh you down or anything like that but it is like you're you're thinking i'm gonna hold a piece of cardboard and then when you hold it it's like whoa i wasn't expecting that you know uh maybe we should uh ask alpha about this yeah uh do you want me to hold on to this for a minute while you do the call Sure, okay. Um Hey, Alpha. Uh yes, Dylan. So this cardboard cutout doesn't seem to actually be a cardboard cutout. First the Would sandwich, it be possible? now this I know, right? Is it possible to bring it with us to the base so we can check it out? Oh, absolutely. I do have a, um, I do have a scanner that I can run it under here at the command center if you just bring it here. Uh, would it be that worth- That sounds good. Would it be worth teleporting the, uh, cardboard cutout and then heading out to, uh, meet the other guys at the beach? I mean, yeah, I think that sounds good. Yeah, uh, Alpha, can you teleport- the cardboard cut out and we run the view with the others <laughs> that's a good question i don't know if alpha can do that i think he has to <laughs> teleport you guys <laughs> okay so yeah. we hold <laughs> the, yeah. the cut out and we go <laughs> to the base and then we teleport out <laughs> to the beach now here's one thing <laughs> i do want to i do want to say that there is a there is a rule about teleporting in this game they did make it that you can activate your teleporter from your uh from your your wrist communicators you can activate those three times per day so you guys have already done yeah. one but yeah. any at any time you're at the command center like alpha can for free just teleport you anywhere out it's just okay. if you guys have to be if you guys use to teleport basically to the command center is three times per day they had to All put right. a, they had to put a limit on the teleporting at some point, or else it'd yeah. get kind of crazy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's worth it, or we're gonna be carrying this cutout to the command center. I suppose we better uh, teleport there since we're not getting response from Alpha. Uh, prepare to teleport, Dylan. Use your tele use your communicators. <laughs> <laughs> we're in. using them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we teleport. <laughs> I heard the whole conversation. You have to take your finger off the button. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right, so you guys are preparing to teleport? Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. With, with a flash of energy, you guys pff, teleport out of the hallway of the, the high school and appear in the middle of the command center with, um, with this teenage boy cardboard cutout. Uh, in the middle of the command center, and Alpha greets you as soon as you guys pop in. And... Oh, you weren't kidding. Yeah, stupid question, Alpha. Have you yeah. got a table? Just like nice flat object we can just lay this on. Um, I mean, sure. Let's. Where's uh... the scanner? <laughs> the scanner is in a. Uh, he actually kind of looks at you and says that he, they have a, a special like lab that he could take it. Um. So he kind of just walks over and I'll, I'll take it to the lab and do a forensic scan on this. And he like picks it up and hey, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> oh, aye, 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 it is. And then Alpha kind of looks looks towards Arthur and what about the sandwich? Just... Yeah, I didn't think that we needed that. <laughs> we buy another sandwich later, Alpha. I told you, you can't just take someone else's sandwich. <gasps> Okay, I probably can't re eat it anyway. <laughs> he turns around and starts walking away <laughs> <laughs> with this cardboard cut out under his under his arm. Uh, we're gonna pan out to our other group as Beatrix just disappeared behind the corner, holding a clipboard under one arm and a very massive what looks to be cardboard cutout under the other. 
and you guys are just looking past and it looks like the two individuals that were, have been talking to you have kind of shifted their attention they something caught their eye over to the left and they're like hey you where were you yesterday and they start to like slowly walk over towards this other individual <laughs> So what do you guys do? Will would slowly start to walk over, trying not to draw attention to himself to join the rest of the group and see what they found. Okay. Yeah, with with their the, with them being distracted by this other individual who they think they might be able to get some information out of, you're easily able to do that. Is, uh, is Evie doing anything different or just going along with Will? I think she, I think for a second, she just kind of watches them like, should I intervene? This is bullying. This is definitely bullying. No, but I feel like maybe maybe it's gonna be okay. And I've got other things I gotta worry about. But for a second, she's like, "Okay, fine. We'll just we'll just we'll, I'll file that away for later. I'll talk to my mom about it. These guys are abusing power. We're, we'll we'll go ahead and and deal with this other situation first. They're definitely abusing what power they think they have. That's for right, sure. Right. Right. <laughs> And since her mom works for the school, she's like, I can, I can just investigate this later. Mm -hmm. cool. So, so what, B, what's that? What'd you find? Uh, well, I, I got here a very, very big and weird looking cardboard cutout. It's very heavy. Do you want to see it? And I kind of yes. just <laughs> prop it <Sure>. up. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a cardboard person. <gasps> Look at me. <laughs> we should get like a little party hat for it. Like it looks really um, unhappy, but I feel like if we put a party hat on it, it would look less unhappy. Yeah, and oh, Be right. yeah. Beatrix, that cardboard cutout is pretty heavy. So I'm more, I'm more waving it towards the ground, like, Ooh. <laughs> it's a little too heavy here, I don't have any muscle. So there's someone's face on this, right? Yeah. Uh, there is. It's, there is, there is a face. It's definitely a uh, female uh, in representation, uh, but it's kind of like they had stopped to either pick something up or tie their shoe or something like that. And their backpack kind of fell off of their arm just the slightest bit. And it's hard to see most of the face because it's kind of covered in their long hair that seems to be looking down. But yeah, you can see the face. Would any of us as current university students recognize this person? Oh, good question. Let's go ahead and make, you can make a check or all three of you could make checks on this. Go ahead and make a, go, well, this is gonna be alertness investigation. So it would be your alertness skill. And the difficulty on this is going to be 15. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at this. 18 and 19, would Evie uh, be, Evie's making a roll? I'm rolling with okay. snag, right? Because I don't have a, like a thing in it. Um, that's only initiative. Okay. Uh, oh wait, no, yeah, yeah. I, I, as I guess, yeah. I think if you don't have a skill point in alertness, then you do make, you, yeah, you would make your roll with a snag. I apologize. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jesus. He is too distracted trying to make a little paper hat. There you go. <laughs> Pulling so, like the the poster board that she had earlier, and she's like, "All right, I'm gonna just like make a little cone and start decorating it." Yeah, and we get a story point for that, right? You do get a story point for that, yeah, because yeah, it's a fumble. Mm -hmm. Ooh. No. I'll add that to our list. Yeah, usually when you roll one, you get to decide, do I want to spend a story point or do I want to gain the story point and just take the fumble? And this is a good a good place to take a fumble. You're at seven. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, as Will and Beatrix are kind of looking closer at this cardboard cutout while Evie works diligently on the party hat, poster board party hat <laughs> <laughs> you like look for a table over there that has like puffy paint and stuff and glitter <laughs> <laughs> i think she just carries them in like a little like her little messenger bag Fantastic. at this point <laughs> yes start putting patterns and designs on it i love it <laughs> so you guys notice that this is someone that you recognize uh you may not have 
been in in particular been in class with this person but you know this person to be andrea moeller hmm. so it actually is a, a student like somebody took a picture of her and made a cardboard cut out of her what an odd pose for cut out this is like one of those weird like fanboy things you know like where people make like cardboard cutouts of their like favorite person this is very like stalkerish behavior cardboard cut out though so yeah. this was a fair, right? Like an information fair. Job fair, yeah. Like a job fair, yeah. Yeah. This was a booth? Maybe. Like, Maybe was, like a booth that makes cardboard cutouts of people? Like really heavy cardboard yeah. cutouts of people? But you had a clipboard. What's on it? Oh, yeah, that's true. No, I'll have to keep clipboard that I've been holding on my arm. What's on it? All right. Uh, really, as you look on this, you see it's it's the filed missing persons report for Luca Franco that you guys got. And I also, in your handouts, I have a folder in there that says missing persons, and you guys can look at those in Rule 20 if you need to access those. <laughs> um, and it also just gives some uh, additional information. Um about uh luca's family and it shows um that it actually has uh, luca's address on the clipboard and you guys who was will and beatrix did anybody like grow up in angel grove out of you two that are looking at the okay will would have will would have grown up in angel grove you would know immediately when you look at the address, it is in Kataro Hills, which is an upscale neighborhood. So it's kind of like lots of gated mansions and very, very nice houses in this area of Angel Grove. So Luca comes from a wealthy family. Oh, so he was fancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will make this party hat even fancier. <gasps> what if you make it the crown? Like, part the crown. <gasps> All right. <laughs> I just scrap the other one, like toss it and pull out another little piece of like poster board to start on a crown. We need some jewels for it though. I do not have like, like they make little plastic sticker jewels. I just don't happen to carry those around. Man. It's like, okay. This... We'll find them at the store. We'll find, we'll find them later. We're, we're kind of busy right now. Hmm. I'm very curious about this cutout. Should they bring it back to like a command center or something? I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is like just someone being really weird and like, ooh, I'm a fan of this one random person and I wanna have a cardboard cutout of them. Yeah, no, you know what? Yeah, we should bring it. Uh, the more I say it, the more ridiculous it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're just gonna hope that that's not the case. Are we in somewhat of a secluded place that we could contact an alpha? Uh, you could if you went further back, like in between the buildings that you're, you guys kind of tucked yeah. yourself away. But if you wanted to go further away, uh, right now you can still hear the, you know, residual sounds of everybody moving about the job fair over there. But yeah, you could definitely do it. I'd say let's take this back to the alleyway, but let's try to avoid those two again. Because if they see what we're carrying, it Joe might Trump. be trouble. Okay. We'll try to head over back to the alleyway. All right. Yeah. Without issue, you guys make your way to what you feel is a, the most secluded area here around the job fair. Um, Alpha? I would try to raise Alpha. Uh, hi there, Will. What do you need? This is going to sound very confusing, and I apologize if this is nothing. Is we found a very odd cardboard cut out in a strange pose. You found a cardboard cutout too? Two? What do you mean? Uh, Arthur and Dylan just got back with one. I'm carrying it right now. Oh, for a second I thought you had one at the, the command center and I was going to be like Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would I would love that, really. Uh, a cardboard cutout? Of myself? Yeah, just to kind of sit around the command center. That'd be great. That would be exciting. I will for sure get you one. Well, if we yeah. can find out who made these, maybe we can. I mean, yeah. Or, I mean, I'm sure I can find someplace. This one, one in my hand is very high quality. Ooh, Does yeah, it seem heavy, heavy too? Kind of. Maybe these are linked. 
Would it be okay if we brought it over to you? Absolutely. All right. Do we see anything else here that we want to look at? No. All right, so. let's go. All right, so you guys all stand in formation and get your communicators mm -hmm. ready. Mash the button for teleportation and the shrieks of energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine at some point somebody hits the wrong button one time and then they have to go, oh, and they're the last one standing here. <laughs> it's definitely me. It's definitely me. Evie. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the delay teleport. The delay teleport. <laughs> when you get there, we're all waiting there, waiting for you to get there. <laughs> Any moment now. <laughs> so you guys with a flash and a feeling of... Uh, just weightlessness for just a split second. Find yourselves in the glow of the command center, holding this cardboard cutout, and you're standing right in front of uh, Arthur and 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 um, and Dylan, who have already teleported there, and are kind of waiting on Alpha to do some things with what they brought back. So you guys are reunited here. Hello, hey. yo guys. Hi. Hi. So you found one too. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. So we were all looking for missing people, and we found something odd at each. Are these people missing? Uh, I don't know, but Alpha, uh, sorry, uh, one thing I would need to point out, though. Uh, Alpha, find, tell them what you found out. Alpha is not, <laughs> Alpha's not there yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it, Alpha, you're too far away. <laughs> I need to make a second party hat. Many, many party hats. You're mm. making party hats? Well, the, the they look kind of sad and unhappy, so I thought, like, maybe the party hats would make them happier. Yes, that's what they're missing, 2D hats. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> logic would say if there's a third place we need to look at, you might find a third if this is a thing. So maybe yeah, three party cool. hats. Yeah, uh... So, do you think we should go to the other side? Yeah, should we go check that out now? While we're waiting for the analysis, I think it's a good idea. Okay, I suppose we better go there, guys. Especially since Zordon's mute. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, e uh, Evie's stuck in a Zordon-esque uh, <laughs> uh, state. My oh, my uh, video was being weird, so I just <laughs> I just cut the video and was starting it up again to see if that would fix it. Yeah, you were going Zordon okay. on us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. It right. was it was kind of like flashy. I didn't want anyone who might have like trouble yeah. with like oh, yeah. flashing to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a teleportation malfunction. That's it. That's yeah. it yeah, that's <laughs> why she's late. <laughs> Dang it, the teleportation. There it there is. We go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, I suppose we all better go to the beach then, guys. Hey. Ooh! I, I, I do not wait, have my swimsuit on. Wait for me! Wait for me! And Alpha 5 comes like, <laughs> walking in now to the command center as you guys are... Ooh, wait, you know, Alpha, is, is, is sand a problem with your... Like, I generally don't bring tech with me to the beach because, like, robots to the beach because sand and robotics not a great combination. Is that going to be a problem for you? Oh, no, I didn't plan on coming. I was just going to grab this cardboard cut out here and grabs it and grabs it from the oh. side. Aww. Uh, Aww. I'll take it down to do the scans while you guys are busy. But, but I'm sure. Really close to it. <laughs> I'm sure if Alpha came along, he would be fine. He's very sci fi. That's true. That's Alpha, true. can I borrow a beaker? Borrow a beaker? Yes. Um, sure, let me see if we have some down in the lab. That might be a story point. <laughs> <laughs> it, might be, it might be a story point thing, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like to use a story point to get a beaker. Okay, sure, yeah. You guys can expend a story point. So one of your story points is a group. And Alpha, after a few moments of disappearing with the cardboard cutout, returns back to the command center from the lab with a beaker in hand. Here you are, Will. <laughs> Thank you. I'm surprised we were able to find one of these. <laughs> well, it's a lab. I was going to ask for a cup, but I figured a lab would have a beaker. Oh, cups. We've got a bunch of those. <laughs> the ancient technology of cups. <laughs> so, Alpha, what did you find out? 
Well, I went for a beaker, so I didn't have time to do any scans yet. Oh. So they may forget. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll be back soon, Alpha. All right, I'll get to work. Aye, 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 these rangers. <laughs> <laughs> to the beach. Fun. Okay, guys, let's teleport. Oh, wait, that's something I have to do. And Alpha turns around. Oh, yeah. Around. <laughs> <laughs> he pushes his button and he's not doing anything. Nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> he comes Wonder around. why this isn't working. <laughs> he comes, one job, Alpha. <laughs> the one time Evie pushes the button at the same time as everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> he starts pushing all the buttons and getting things ready, and all of a sudden, those streaks of light energy as you guys go weightless once again. Uh, teleporting you to the third location, the beach? Yes. All right. Yes. Excellent. So... You guys are teleported to uh, uh, the beach at uh, La Playa, Playa de la Paz, and you find yourself basically, you were teleported kind of behind, it's, it's like a shed type structure that houses like beach umbrellas and chairs that people can rent. And you're kind of, that's where you kind of teleport out. You Your feet are in the sand, but you can see there's also places over there where, like, there's concrete areas of sidewalks where people can ride their bikes and uh, roller blade or whatever you would you would be doing at, at this point at the beach. There's people out on the beach throwing frisbee. This is a very large beach. beach. It's kind of flat, and it just goes out for a, a significant amount before you guys can see the, the blue expanse of the ocean right there uh, to the side. So what would you guys like to do? So pretty. Take my shoes off and put them, my feet in the sand. Uh, is, it, is it very hot? <laughs> it's a little warm. It's a little warm. Yeah. Why do I have to wear two lights? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the sand. <laughs> <laughs> Will is going to put some sand in his beaker. Okay. And he'll, he'll look at the others and say, it's for Alpha. Oh, I thought you were going to make a terrarium. Aww. That's really cool. Oh. Yes. Since he may not be able to come here himself, we can bring the beach to him. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> that's surprisingly wholesome. I know, I know you just Surprisingly, spent... am I usually not? <laughs> no, you're, you're pretty wholesome. I, uh, I know that you just spent a story point to get that beaker, but uh, because, aw, I'm giving you guys another story point. <laughs> so we're back to seven. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so we should look for the place where she disappeared. Yeah. Also, her dog. Oh, there's a dog? Yeah, she had her dog with her, and I don't know what happened to it. Wait, didn't her friend? I feel like I remember them saying the friend the the friend had the dog, the, the friend who reported it. Did, Did the they? dog disappear too? Uh, Wendy Yi, who states she walked away to record a video, Clementine. Oh the, no, the dog was gone too. Huh? huh? <gasps> oh, do we know what no, type of dog? They didn't. Did okay, guys, I suppose it, we better. I think it was a chihuahua. <laughs> did it say the type of dog in the police report? No, no just, it just said her dog. No. Yeah, it just says dog. I just feel really like sure. it would be a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of dog that, you know, people have. What can we see around <laughs> us? Uh, just a lot of people are out on the beach. Some people sunbathing, some people throwing frisbees. Uh, there's a volleyball, a beach volleyball court over there that a uh, big group of people are playing volleyball. Um, just a lot of activity. There's a few people out, out in the water surfing. Ooh. Okay, guys, I suppose mm -hmm. we should better go and ask questions to see if anyone's seen anything. I mean, there's a lot of people here. Someone's bound to see something. That's true. And you guys also know that what this disappearance occurred yesterday, so... Just keep that yeah. in mind that mm -hmm. the people could be the same, but they might not. So, but you said there's like a stall with like umbrellas and stuff, right? Yeah, you guys got. Is there like a shopkeeper it. type person who like manages all that stuff? You think there would be Evie, but it's a little later in the day, so this place is closed up because all mm -hmm. the all the umbrellas and the chairs have been folded back in and they've been placed over there and they put like this like there's like a little grate that they can close and put a lock on it, so. I know a lot of beaches have like a, a boardwalk type area where there's like little little shops and stalls and stuff. 
Is there maybe one of those? There is, but it's a little, it's distant. And you can see like there's a Ferris wheel on it. It's like a pier that almost goes out into the ocean a little bit. And it looks like there's a like big tents and a Ferris wheel and other rides and stuff. But it's pretty far away from this location. I mean, we could always see if, because she still may have gone, If she, especially if she was doing like social media stuff, she may have still gone there and taken some pictures and stuff. So somebody there might have seen her. What if we try to yeah. break into the stall? Uh, maybe okay. we should see if we <laughs> What is issue. the answer? <laughs> what I mean, if it's we your just idea, go it can't be bad, and right? look so... for cardboard cutouts? <gasps> That's true. We should yes, look for keep cardboard open, cutouts. Yeah. <laughs> um, this person was big on social media, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would they have posted any pictures from their time at the beach to give us an idea of the location they were at? Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Maybe we can search for like a hashtag or something like hashtag beach la playa and see or if we can see. She's a liberal them arts anywhere. major, aren't you? Uh, Dylan, aren't you a liberal, liberal arts major as well? Maybe you have some like contacts in common? Oh, I'm a linguistics. Oh, yeah. I thought you did writing. Um, I do writing on the side. Hmm. Hey, Iris, maybe if you should check on social media or through your phone, maybe you could get us some hints through that. Yeah! Tech genius here. Yeah, I'll start looking through my social. I'm I'm pretty <laughs> sure Evie has like a ton of content. Like she knows a lot mm. of people, especially since she grew up in Angel Grove. So absolutely, um, get him, and is probably very active on social media too. Not as like Instagram e, but like yeah, just they, talking um, to they people. Actually all the time, have, so. uh, they actually have in this world a special social media outlet. Uh, it's called My Face. Yeah, <laughs> I think, yeah, I think Evie's probably pretty active on that. Uh, and I'm not even making that up, it is in the book. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she's an influencer, but I think she's pretty active, like, posting, like, oh, look, this is the new poster I made, oh, this is the project I'm working on, and she knows a lot of people, so maybe I could find uh, someone in common. So, yeah, who exactly- On my face. Who, on my face. <laughs> on my face. <laughs> my face. <laughs> so who is it, who is it that, are you looking for anybody particular's profiles or- Oh, I mean, yeah, what? we're looking for, for the girl, yeah. uh, Jin. Jin. Jin, uh, Jin Lulin. Lulin. Okay. Yeah. Um, or Wendy Yi. Um, I think, because if Wendy was there with her, yeah. then she might have taken some pictures and stuff too. Okay. Go ahead and do me a favor. I want you to make a technology role for me. Oh, I'm really good at this. Uh, it's a good thing they uh, they asked you to do it. <laughs> it's almost like Arthur knows who he's talking to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and if you have a specialization in computers, you will you will be able to use that. Um, I do not, but I okay. do have a D8 in technology, so I All should right. be... Perfect. So you're going to make a technology uh, roll. The difficulty on this check is a 14. Ooh. It's not bad. We could do it. We could do it. Come on, Evie. We believe in you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a story point. Can I? It's a brains thing, so oh. I can actually use my idea point. To, yes, you can. Uh, roll with edge. Yes. I think that's what that allows you to do. Yeah. yeah my eureka ability. Eureka ability. Allows yeah. Me. There you go. Nice. Nice. So you're gonna roll with with an edge on this. That'd be that'd be fantastic. Ooh. <laughs> I still fail. <laughs> I'm so good at this, but yet. Um, I think Evie just gets distracted on my face of like, oh, hey, look, my friend just posted this really cool like project they're working on. <laughs> Wait, what was I doing again? <laughs> oh, I don't um, remember. Now, the, the, here's, here's what failure means on this roll. So you're looking at my face. <laughs> That just sounds so weird saying it. I know. <laughs> You're looking at my face. And I... <laughs> So you're you're looking at this uh, social media outlet. You're scrolling by. You do find, you do discover uh, Jin's account. And the problem with the account is it just... She does seem to be very active. And then the last 24 hours, no posts. Like, nothing. Um... Yeah. Also, you do find the account of Wendy Yi, who was the, the best friend who was hanging out, probably spending most of their time together. Um, when you check her page, though, even with failure, I mean, you, you're good with 
social media and technology and stuff like that, even with failure, you would see this information. Is her latest post reads that, hey guys, okay, my parents are totally freaking out and they're like taking away my phone. So I'll see you when I see you. Love you all, mean it, hashtag not fair. Evie, I had an idea. Oh, I like ideas. This is similar to what you're already doing, but maybe a bit more advanced and you're kind of techie, so. I like it. Do you have a way of tracking her phone? I was just thinking that. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, hmm, can I GPS locate on her last photos? But then, well, with Wendy, anyways, because like maybe we can contact Wendy. I could probably just contact her on my face, but if her phone's taken away, I can't really, like, she can't mm. answer. So mm. let's see if I can, like, find either. Uh, so I have two ideas. One, I don't know if I am a good enough, skilled enough hacker to like find somebody's phone that I don't know and, con and use their GPS. But I could try and reach out to some of my friends and see if anybody does have her phone number and could locate it. But then I would only get her parents if they've taken it away. Hmm. Hmm. Well, have you got a number? Maybe I could give her a call. What? No, I don't have, uh, I mean, I can, I can ask some of my friends. I could do a GPS. I could try and find uh 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 shit. Wait, what's her name? Feel <laughs> baby. Yes, Jin. Jin. I could try to find Jin. Her. I could try to find their, her phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna start. Uh, I guess net networking and try and find somebody who knows Jin's phone number so that I can try and GPS contact or ping that. Okay. Um. Sure. Go ahead and I'm trying to think if you would have anybody like if it's in like inner circle of this individual because um are you so you're trying or to call I, you're trying or if to I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody like kind of you you're kind of like looking in social media and you know how it says like mutual friends in, yeah, in the area. yeah. So you're, like, you're looking for some mutual friends honestly you don't see anybody that you think you could contact that would have the phone number of this you think that you could push it and try to like maybe hack into the account and it may give you some limited access to some things you also notice that when you're when you're looking at this my uh my face account <laughs> that you when you scroll a little bit you see the top on on wendy yees you see the top of what looks to be a, a video that was the the post before she posted that her phone was being taken away. So you. So. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So two things. One, I don't have any friends in common with her, so that's gonna kind of probably not happen. Although I do. My mom works for the school, and if we really want to get like wonky, I could always ask her to look up contact information. But I feel like that's a little, a little not cool. So, but she did post a video uh, that we could look at. Let's check it out. Yeah. I'll right. click play. Yeah, you click play on the video as you scroll down, you can see it's a, it's a video. I from... hold my phone up so everybody can see it. It's a video from the beach. Uh, it's, it's her and she's basically like videoing herself and talking about how they're, she's enjoying the, the, the beautiful weather and working on her tan as she's clearly wearing a bathing suit and it kind of scrolls over and says ah, would you stop recording you're always on that and then it looks you turn it over and there's another woman who is also on a phone saying that to her <laughs> and you, you hear this you hear these little um high-pitched barks and you can see this fluffy palmerinian with a big pink bow <sighs> Uh, it's like, <laughs> and uh, like kind, kind of cuddling a bit in between. I just, I'm sorry. Uh, I, well, we got a party pooper and uh, I got to go. And it's just like this really quick video. And then um, before that, there's a couple like selfies of her uh, as, as she posted them from the beach. Hey, try and location ping that video. Sure, you'd, you'd still have to do a little bit of like deep diving, so yeah, uh, go ahead and make another technology roll. Um, let me see. Um, now the thing is, you're doing this from a wireless uh, outlet, and in this game, doing things 
from wireless, like hacking wirelessly, is a little bit more challenging. So the difficulty on this test is going to be an 18. Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, also, this is if there's anybody that can offer aid, if anybody is also trained in technology, if there's any other rangers that are trained, you can offer aid to Eevee if you have a skill point in technology. Not at all. Not at all? Okay, so <laughs> Eevee, is, Eevee is the only <laughs> tech guru out of this group. Um, yeah. Regen. I could regen my personal could power to give myself edge again as well. So I'm going right. to do that. Yeah, you can spend one of your regens. Sure, yeah. And you can spend a level. story point to roll as if it was specialized. Oh, yeah. You could use a story point to roll yeah. a specialization. There you go. Yeah. We're getting these rules slowly, but surely. <laughs> We're using We're it today. It. We're using <laughs> them today. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we'll use a story point to roll. With, so with specialization, that means because I've got a D8, so then I'm rolling a D8, D6, D4, and I take whatever one's the highest. Whichever one the yeah, highest right. is which one it'll give you in the roll, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're now at six power uh, story points as a group. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I will, let's see. Technology. Yes, using specialization, yes. No change, no skill shift. You said it's DC is 18. 18, yes. Okay, and then rolling with edge. Come on, Evie. Oh. Come on, Evie. You've got to pass something today. Just one thing. Just one <laughs> pass. That's all I ask, kid. Oh. <sighs> and unfortunately, uh, just being out here on the beach, <laughs> your 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 wireless service is not the best. You're struggling with your with your Guys, ability uh, to break into this and I, I gotta to say it. my specialization is in robotics and not cell phone <laughs> don't worry we can get first well, okay how so, about the uh, old-fashioned way right what? Why? Yeah. yeah yeah i guess we'll just look around <laughs> looking at so the video like oh Manual can we see labor. any landmarks that would give us an idea of where this video was taken? Oh, good thinking. Go ahead and make an, uh, we'll call this, uh, I guess this will be alertness. If you're specialized in investigation, you can use investigation, but we'll call this alertness. And it will be a difficulty of uh, 15. I can help with okay. looking. Oh, yeah. I, I I have eyes. Yeah, so basically for every person oh, <laughs> for, for every person that helps you get an upshift. Sweet, I'm gonna help Ooh. as well, because I've got uh, mm -hmm. some skill in lightness too. Okay. Ah, right. yes, I, me too. Alright. I do not Alright, so you can go. you can get three upshifts on this roll because yeah, they're all kind of hovering around you with this with this video <laughs> yeah, yeah, looking at Evie's phone. Yeah. And you said <laughs> fifteen, Evie's right? Just pouting and 15, like she's yep. giving you guys a phone and now she's just working on their paper crowns again, like fine. Twenty oh, success. Yes. yes. So as you guys are kind of like looking around at the video, you you do notice uh, that volleyball court. They were kind of close to where that beach volleyball court was. As you can yes, see, it, just in the background, guys. you can see like the volleyball being tossed around in the in the little bit of the distance. So lead the way, Arthur. No worries. Uh, so we all head in that general direction to where it is. All right. And as you do, that's where we're going to end this episode. Of proficiency oh. power. <laughs> <laughs>